I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin <laughs> bombing in five minutes. It was the joke heard around the world, the one by President Reagan about bombing the Soviet Union, and it resulted in a Soviet red alert, and it became a campaign issue in this country. Now, Marvin Kalb has learned that the Soviets responded in their own fashion. The president was joking his way through an audio check on August 11th. That I've signed legislation that will outlaw Russia forever. We begin <laughs> bombing in five minutes. By August 14th, the story became world news, a major item on Moscow television where the joke was not treated as a laughing matter. August 15th, a coded message left Soviet military headquarters in Vladivostok. It said, in part, we now embark on military action against the U.S. forces. The code was instantly broken by U.S. and Japanese intelligence. This is what then happened. A special command unit in Usurisk went on wartime alert. Key Japanese military units raised their readiness status. Soviet naval vessels in the North Pacific, baffled by the order, checked with Vladivostok. Confusion. U.S. intelligence urgently canvassed for signs of an imminent Soviet attack. Found none. There was what they described as a wayward operator in the Soviet Far Eastern Command who sent out a message uh, alerting Soviet forces in that area that a state of war existed between the United States and the Soviet Union. Within 30 minutes, the mysterious Soviet alert was canceled. Was it unusual? Not according to U.S. officials. They said it particularly happens on weekends when uh, discipline is a little less than it might be on weekdays. But August 15th was a weekday. One senator said the alert must have been a joke. A congressman said it was Russia's way of answering the president. Most officials said no comment. Though one did speculate that the Russian might have been drunk. Marvin Kalb, NBC News, the State Department.